the single students now let's discuss velocity time graph for uniform acceleration for uniform acceleration uniform acceleration now we will understand what is the type of the graph what we take on x axis and y axis and everything so it is written velocity time graph the students what is uh, on what will be on the y axis on the y axis we will take velocity so velocity unit is we will write unit also meter per second okay? second on the x axis we will take time time because anyway it's given its velocity time graph time t we will take time in seconds okay so now we will draw the velocity time suppose again uh, you know the there is a car moving in the car uh, this uh, driver is there and near the driver there is one friend sitting the friend is having stopwatch so he is able to uh, calculate the time in seconds very accurately from the stopwatch so now the friend uh, wants to study uniform acceleration so he wants to do a experiment so he starts the stopwatch when he starts the stopwatch what is the time the time is 10 seconds then he observe the speedometer let us say the speedometer is showing 10 meter per second velocity am i right then he observes a time is equal to 2 seconds then the velocity is 20 meter per second then time is 4 6 and 8 seconds then he sees velocity is 30 40 and 50 meter per second do you understand students hello yes sir how he observe when the time is 2 seconds simply he sees the speedometer when the time is 4 seconds he simply see the speedometer when the time is 8 seconds he simply see the speedometer the speedometer is showing the car and the velocity of the car you know that means the velocity is increasing okay but how it is increasing in uniform acceleration as well as non uniform acceleration the velocity can increase or decrease but how how it is increasing or decreasing that decides whether it is uniform acceleration or non uniform acceleration so students again i am taking zero here and i will take t as let's say this is 2 seconds so this is 4 6 8 and 10 seconds now i want to draw the graph first then i will understand and here it is velocity 10 so i will take 10 here 10 20 this is 30 did not write all the figures 40 and 50 okay so this should be done perfectly because if instead of this 20 if you take 30 here whole graph will be wrong the spacing should be equal this is 10 two uh, two unit spacing again two unit spacing 20 30 40 50 okay so this is your velocity and let us say velocity is v you can take u or v whatever you want no problem okay ji all right now students where i will draw the first point anyone can tell the first point is 0 and 10 this is my first point i want to draw the graph to draw the graph i should have points i will join the points and i will get the graph right so where it will be time is 0 is here and 10 is here so this is the first point am i right student am i right or wrong okay. very right so i will draw the second point 2 and 20 it's 2 and this is 20 all right then 4 and 30 this is 4 4 and this is 30 then 6 and 40 6 and this is 40 you see that then 8 and 50 8 and 50 these are the points this is how the graph the 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 graph comes now i will simply join the points i will see whether it is a curve whether it is a straight line so i will join the curve okay let me join 
so i will join all the points okay so this is this is not proper joining don't worry uh, this is proper joining okay yes students are you able to see so again students we are able to see that it is a the curve is uh, the curve is not a curve but rather it's a straight line line oh but the straight line is not like this like we got a straight line if you remember in the case of in which case last curve okay. Constant velocity. Constant velocity. velocity. This is uniform. Uh, sorry, uniform, not velocity. Uniform acceleration. That was constant velocity curve, and you can say that was zero acceleration curve. That was zero acceleration velocity time graph. Right? Zero acceleration. So that in that case, the velocity. line was coming that the the graph was coming parallel to x axis but in this case it is uh, inclined to x axis it is inclined to x axis this inclination will tell you something what is this inclination means so this is one line so this line is inclined what is the inclination this is the inclination this other line its inclination is more suppose this is a perpendicular line its inclination is 90 degree okay this is all about inclination okay students so this is inclined to x axis this line okay now students i want to calculate the acceleration now just like i discussed last time in order to calculate the acceleration students do you know that i should i should if you want to calculate the acceleration a what is the formula v minus u upon t yeah v minus u upon t v1 divided by t2 minus t1 so you can take t1. any interval calculate the acceleration what is important to calculate the acceleration interval is important so uh, uh, suppose students interval is not given to you somebody says what is the acceleration at 4 seconds at 4 students uh, uh, if y guru allows us to study till plus 1 then i will ask you that in 9th i asked you this question do you remember so let us say how many students uh, are able to learn physics in plus 1 then this concept will change in plus 1 we will go more deep now i can't teach you that so suppose now i can ask you this question i can give you hint what is the problem students can you calculate acceleration at 4 seconds any student can answer this it's a very it's a very deep concept which was not answered by most of the mathematicians and physicists uh, before the birth of calculus i am asking you can any student calculate the acceleration at at 4 seconds see in order to calculation calculate the acceleration you need final velocity and you need initial velocity initial velocity you also need in the denominator initial in the denominator you need delta t what is delta t delta t is time interval time interval means there must be some initial time and there must be some and final time final time so suppose i ask you what is the acceleration at 4 seconds now am i giving you uh, the initial and final time or not no sir i am not giving you initial and final time it's very important it's very important i am not giving you initial time and final time so can any student tell me if i ask you 
to calculate the acceleration at 4 seconds what is delta t can any student tell me i am not saying 3 to 4 seconds i am not saying 3.5 to 4 seconds if the time interval was 3.5 to 4 seconds what was delta t 0 0.5 seconds if i am asking you to calculate acceleration from 3 to 4 seconds what is the time interval one second but students if i ask you to calculate acceleration at 4 seconds i am not giving any time interval then can any student tell me what is the value of delta t zero zero correct zero second and students in zero seconds do you think there will be any change in the velocity at zero seconds no, no so you are not able to calculate the acceleration when the delta t is not given am i right yes sir why can you tell me why when delta t is not given you are not able to calculate the acceleration why because initial or final velocity is not given to us also initial time and delta, final time is not given in fact yes sir delta t is zero and you know in mathematics students maths and physics is same in mathematics if you divide any number a with zero what is the answer manroz deep you divide any number zero. A, huh? It's not defined. Yeah, it's not defined. Till now it is not defined. If you do in your calculator, it will show, just try to define today any number with zero. It will show error. That is the limitation of maths and physics today. Maybe tomorrow it will be removed. So I am not able to calculate acceleration at four seconds. But I am able to calculate acceleration in this time interval. Then I will calculate the acceleration in this time interval. Okay. These two time interval I will calculate acceleration. So students, can any student tell me how to calculate acceleration in this time interval? A is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity. So at this, this is the time interval. This time interval. Time interval is from six seconds to, yes, students? Eight seconds. Okay. So how much is the time interval? Six seconds to eight seconds? Two. Two seconds. Very right. Two seconds. So we will take same time interval, two seconds, but it is four to six. Time interval is different. But the magnitude of time interval is same, 2 seconds. Okay. We will see whether the acceleration is same or not. So here, 6 second to 8 second time interval is 2 second. Can you tell me what is the velocity at 8 second? The final velocity V2? 50 meter per second. Beautiful. Can you tell me what is the velocity at 6 seconds? If you want to find out, simply take the arrow up and reach your graph and see where is the velocity at this point. It is how much? 40. Students, 40 what? 40. Speak the unit. Speak meter per second. Unit always. It's 40 meter per second. So divided by how much time interval? 50 yeah. minus 40. Two seconds. Correct. Time second is? Uh, this is 8 minus 6. 8 minus 6, that is equal to 2 seconds. So, how, what will be acceleration? Any student can tell? Ten, 5 meter per second. Beautiful. 10 meter per second. Mostly teachers don't teach this. I'm telling you students. I'm, with the grace of Vahiguru, trying to include all my engineering into this so that you become great uh, students tomorrow. Divided by so how much is the acceleration 5, Five meter. meter per second square oh wow 
Now let me calculate acceleration in this time interval. I will change the color. Okay. I will change the size also. Yes. Acceleration in this time interval. So acceleration, write down always, write down the formula. Delta V. And you, everybody speak delta V by delta T. Delta V is change in velocity. So in these two seconds, what is the change in velocity? At six seconds, final limit of time, see the velocity. Velocity is this one, uh, 40, right? At four seconds, Manfred, what is the velocity at four seconds? This is four seconds time. This is time. Simply go up time, then go towards y axis. Then see what is the velocity it is. 30 meter, 30 per, meter second. per second. So now 40 minus 30. This this is here it is 40 meter per second. Here it is 30. How much is 40 minus 30? 10, 10 meter, per meter per second. Divided by what is time interval? Any student, what is time interval? 2. 6 minus 4, 6 second minus 4 seconds. Uh, so it is 2 second time interval. So acceleration is again 5 meter per second square. Oh, I came to know that in this time interval and this time interval acceleration is coming out to be same. That is 5 meter per second here and 5 meter per second here. Now, students, if I change the time interval, if I change the time interval, will the uh, will the acceleration be same or not? Suppose I change the time interval delta t to let's say 10 seconds. Any student can answer whether the acceleration will be same or not. Let us see. Don't make tukka. Okay, when the time interval is 10 seconds, this is the time interval 0 to 10 seconds. I will calculate acceleration. So what is the velocity at 10 seconds, students? Oh, sorry, it's not given. At 10 seconds, no, I will extend this line. Don't worry. I will extend this line. Yes, students, I have extended this line. So, can you tell now at 10 seconds, what is the velocity? This is a point. This is a point at 10 seconds. I want to calculate the acceleration in 10 seconds. Students, what is the velocity at 10 seconds? 60 meter per second. It is 60. This will definitely make you engineer today's lecture. Minus, what is the velocity at? I want to take interval of 10 seconds. So now I will calculate velocity at 0 second. Wait, wait a minute. Let me ask. Uh, let me ask Poonam. Poonam, what is the velocity at 0 second? No, you are not able to speak. Keep quiet. Okay. Now I want to ask Bakshpreet Kaur. What is the velocity at 0 second? Bakshpit Kaur, what is the velocity at 0 second? Okay, you're not able to answer. Okay. So, can I ask Mehtaab, what is the velocity at 0 second? 10 meter per second. Correct. At, at 0, just go up. When you go up, see where this graph is, you know, uh, at touching the y-axis. So, it is 10 meter per second. So, 60 minus... 10 divided by what is the time interval? 0 to 10. 10 minus 0. How much is time interval? 10 what? 10 seconds. 10 seconds. So time interval, Manpreet is telling right. Can you see she is sitting next to me now? Though she is weak in study, but because she is sitting next to me, the energy transfer is there. She is able to understand. Though she is quite poor in uh, maths and physics, but she will improve. So, student, what is the acceleration? 60 minus 10 is 50. 50. 
divided by 10 seconds is how much acceleration? 5 meter per second square. So what we learn from this? What we learn from this? The acceleration, when we change the time interval, the acceleration is again same. Wonderful. Now, students, whether you take time interval of 1 second, you take 4 seconds, you take 0 0.5 second also. Try that. The acceleration will be same. In which case, when the velocity time graph is a straight line. Remember that. When your velocity time graph is a straight line, your acceleration, no matter what is your delta t, delta t can change. Everyone write down. But acceleration will be constant. And in this case, in three cases, we have found the acceleration. So, Bakshpreet, what was the value of acceleration? Yes, Manpreet, uh, Manpreet what is the value of acceleration? 5 meter per second square. Students, this is a great understanding. So, uh, tomorrow I will tell you more interesting things about uh, variable acceleration. Yes, I want to ask uh, one or two students. Hello, Manroz, do you understood everything? Yes, sir. Now, you complain that we are not learning physics much. Is it removed or not? Okay, sir. Good. Students, please see the video again. I'll upload. Share with your friends. I wish you all the best. Take care.